what would happen is I'd crank the throttle and I'd keep about the same speed. Yeah. This thing just tractors up it. Yeah, it does have good traction. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, I'm down here in Washington, Georgia with Jacob Tayo of Tayo Racing. And uh, we've heard that he's recently made a switch from uh, Honda to KTM. And uh, Jake, we'd just like to get your thoughts on uh, how the switch is going. Yeah, you know, Billy, the uh, swap to KTM has really been seamless. It's uh, really an amazing program, amazing bike that the factory KTM guys have come up with. And, uh, yeah, we were on the Hondas for the past few months until the Grand National Dual Sport Competitions we've been running. They're, they're, it's, a, it's a phenomenal bike. You know, you, you really can't beat it. It's just set up perfect in every way. But since we've swapped and started running some of these GNCC uh, off-road focused races, the technicality and the speed of the track has really made the Honda kind of kind of fall short to bikes that are built for that more specific purpose. We got the call from the KTM guys. We, we took them up on it, jumped on the KTM, and really almost swung a leg over and fell home. So tell us a little more about the bike. What kind of bike are you on? Yes, we got a uh, 2020 KTM 250XCF, and uh, it's, it's stock, essentially. Really uh, felt so good out of the box. We didn't have to make a lot of modifications other than the standard uh, setup. So how would you compare this bike to the Honda CRF450L? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a hard comparison because, again, you're comparing a dual sport to a bike that's built for only off-road riding. But in short, the big differences are primarily weight. This bike weighs approximately like 50 pounds lighter. And that makes a big difference not only when you have to pick it up from a crash, but while riding that weight, the difference feels much greater than it even is. And the other really massive difference is the gearing. On the, the Honda, when you get in really tight technical terrain where you really need to go slow, it's really not much of an option unless you just remain on the clutch constantly. Uh, versus the KTM has like a couple gears lower than the Honda, so in the slow technical things, you really have that option to really slow down and not wear yourself out trying to hold the clutch. Okay, what is your favorite thing, your favorite part of the KTM? Man, so much more nimble. And the thing with the KTM is just the uh, how flickable and light it feels. So when you ride the bike, it just really has a feel that uh, can be maneuvered it's super easy. Versus the Honda, occasionally you would get into some tighter spots where it really felt like you were battling and wrestling the bike. With the KTM, it's always so light and maneuverable that it just, just flows right where you need it to. Okay, now the question that's on everyone's mind, this is the big one, you need to ask it. You've been holding off for a while. But the big question is, in tomorrow's race, do you think you can get more than one lap done? Yeah, we had the guys run up some numbers last night. Hey, it's going to be close. It's, uh, the track's in good condition, but, but we are feeling pretty optimistic. We're thinking, we're thinking we can get a solid two laps in. Wow, two laps. Solid two okay. laps in. That's, that's an improvement. Yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be fun to watch. We'll, we'll be all watching uh, our live timing and scoring to see uh, see if we get those two laps done. Yeah, it's, it's going to be intense. So be sure to tune into Racer TV and watch the pro race, which we will not be competing in. <laughs> <laughs> you can learn hear all about the amateur race that's already concluded. At that point. Okay. Any final thoughts on the new KTM? Yeah, you just got to send it. Okay. Well, that's that's fair enough. I get it. Well, Jake, thanks for joining us today. We hope you have a great race tomorrow. Stay safe, keep the rubber side down, and don't forget to send it. All right, welcome back to uh, Corporate Throttle MX. Your host here, Jake Tayo. We're down here in Washington, Georgia for round three of the GNCC Racing Series 2021. We're here with Billy Tayo, who we've heard through the grapevine has recently made the swap to KTM. How are you doing today, Billy? I'm doing well. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, great to have you on the show. So, please, give us some initial impressions. What do you think of your new ride? It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, good to hear. So, 
I was talking to uh, a mutual friend the other day, and I hear that you're a racer from way back. I hear that you spent many a day racing on uh, old school two strokes, Yamahas. Can you give us a little insight of how this new four stroke differs from that old style racing? Yeah, my background's mostly in uh, two stroke motocross type riding, Yamaha YZ 125 type stuff. And I was used to the, uh, the, the two stroke where you have to be on the pipe a lot to get the, most of the power is up in the, the high RPM. This new uh, KTM uh, 250 XCF four stroke has a lot more power on the low end, so you don't have to be revved out, and uh, it's so much so much easier to manage in the in the tight trails. And uh, really, really like that about it. So you can just tractor up a hill if you need to. You don't have to be on the pipe and in the high RPMs. But if you want the high RPMs, they're there. So I think revs out like 14,000 RPMs, which which is fast. It's got a nice top end, but you also get the low end, and uh, it's it's a great bike. It's a great motor. Great, great. So the thing that everyone's question is for GNCC, is this the bike, or do you see yourself reverting back to a two-stroke? I think this is the bike. Yeah, I think this is uh, lets you go faster without as much effort, really, and without as much uh, without being on the pipe all the time. And, for me, uh, I like the power delivery of the bike and the four-stroke, the smoothness. So yeah, I believe I'm uh, on the four-stroke bandwagon now. For you viewers that don't know, uh, Billy has recently made the swap from the factory Honda to factory KTM. And uh, everyone here at least is very excited to see this swap. So Billy, is there anything you can tell us that the guys at factory KTM have under their sleeve will race this weekend? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't tell me much. <laughs> uh, okay, so just twist the throttle, go fast, and the other goes up. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it. <laughs> all right, well, it's great to have you on. Looking, looking forward to the race this weekend. For all, all of you guys out there, be sure to tune into Racer TV and watch the pro race, which we will not be competing in. <laughs> <laughs> you can learn to hear all about the amateur race that's already concluded at the pool. Thanks for coming to the show, Billy. Great to have you. Oh, yeah. No problem. <laughs>